What's up guys, Jalen here from Team Brain Infinity, bringing you guys my 72 power post DBT01 deck profile. I haven't done 72 power since, well shit, um, inver inverse, which was just last set, but still, just saying, you guys probably really, really wanted to see how Magic World's doing outside of Shadow Shades. Really? You didn't? Well, I don't care. You're here in this video anyway, so you're gonna see this. So, let's get started. Next up, we got, first off, we had the flag and the buddy. I have, of course, Magic World flag, blah, it's not secret, who cares, um, um, so we have Dance Mode, um, Dance Asmodai, or Dance Modai, as I call him, he's a 6 two, one, size 2, pay 1 gauge call cost, and when he enters the field, I draw a card, very nice draw engine, um, extra draw in this deck, he's very, very powerful with his 2 crit and 6,000 power for the measly 1 gauge, I really, really like him, and he's the only other... <laughs> As Moda, I have four of in this deck outside of Squad because consistency, um, simple consistency with just Squad basically be able to make himself into any other as Moda as long as they're in my draw. Anyway, let's move on. We have our only size zero. We have three copies of Boy Transmissions Moda or Bo Boy Moda as I like to call him. He has the ability, um, he has a size zero, he's a size zero, obviously, like I said, three one, three one one. He has the ability when he enters the field, um, I can discard a card. If I do, my, um, I can return a card to the owner's hand. Any card. So anything that has like soul and setup, um, that doesn't have soul guard, like say a world end or a mission card, it can really disrupt your opponent and really throw off their strategy, or just throw um a size. Three with lifelink into their hand or any card lifelink into their hand and make him very annoyed or something with a very high cost that doesn't have soul guard or something like that it's a very very powerful size zero and it's really really nice and the stats aren't pretty, aren't bad for a magical monster next up we have the only non modi in this deck and a very nice addition to his deck we have two deceiving shacks he has the ability truth that comes from lies the ability can only the named ability can only be activated once per turn. It activates when this card enters the <laughs> yeah when this card enters the field. You and there's two other 72 pillar cards on your field. You can draw one. Um, he's a very nice card. He's a size one four one one. So really nice 4K power and it gives you a draw if as long as you have the right setup. So he's a very nice card. It's great off Devil Fever because you're always gonna have two size ones being called with him so then you'll get his draw almost instantaneously and you can really really abuse his ability quite a few times um in quite a few ways in this deck but i'll get to that later like right about now when i talk about the new triple rare that is a very great addition to that we have Three copies of Fervent Demon Lord Teacher as Modai, or as I like to call him, Teach Modai. Teach Modai is a 5-2-1, size 1, 72 pillar, that it has the ability, I mean, well, as the first to call cause, of pay 2 gauge and return a 72 pillar monster from my field to the hand. It really helps with enter field abilities like Demon Lord's Modai, and Boy Transformation, or my buddy Dance Modai, if I have the gauge for him and him, that would be quite a lot, but it would be pretty worth, um, where I can really um reuse some of their abilities but other than that he has also the ability when he enters the field i can destroy a monster of any size and when he d and if there are three other um 72 pillar cards on the field when he's called then i get to also destroy one card so it is very very powerful and very very good it's very insane off death mode eye or devil fever or anything that calls him if i was paying his call cost even paying his call cost isn't always too bad Next up, we have three copies of Demon as Modai. This is the original as Modai. He is 5-1-1 with the ability when it enters the field. If I can discard a card, if I do, I can destroy a monster with my, of any size on my opponent's field. Uh, this ability always activates, and I don't have to always discard it. So if my opponent wants to use a Drago Bond or something that tries to protect their monster, I don't have to discard. If you don't believe me, you can look up the ruling for yourself. Either way, this card is very, very amazing. 5k clearing power, the ability to destroy any monster. Uh, it's very, very powerful in any format. 
and the last size winner of the deck. We have Artabai Duplications Modai, or as I like to call, Squan Modai. Squan Modai is two, is two two one with the ability out of body duplication counter during my turn i can send us i can send him to the drop zone and call in his modi by paying any his modi by paying its own call cost from my drop zone and our body duplication can only use once per turn say i have like literally himself in the drop i can call i can attack for two use his ability send this copy to the drop zone then call the other one onto the field so it basically it equiv equivalents to a free double attacking size one and that's not even counting like just also just having this or calling this or calling boy boy transformation it, it it can call quite a few monsters in your deck so this is a very powerful card and a very very needed part of 72 pillar rush aspect which I'm going for with this deck it's little t it's a little tempo it's little tempo but it's mainly focused on its rush Onto the size twos, we have two Iron Lords I want I want to um give you. Um but I'll go first with one of the probably most staple ones that usually is always running a magical deck. We have third army water lord Mazarian, my lord and savior. He has pay, he has a pay two gauge call cost and put two and also put two spells from your drop zone into into his soul. He this a uh, this spell and soul, I'm sorry, you mean like the easiest thing Magic World could possibly imagine for this thing's call cost. Um, 625, size 2, with double attack, um, basically double soul guard, and, um, lifelink 2. It's a very, very powerful card, very, very helpful in lots of matchups. I love this card, and it's definitely a really great help to this deck. Then we have Void Omni Wicked Lord Nico Balls. He has the one gauge call cost, six two three stats, um, and he has the, the ability when your opponent the monster is destroyed, to, um, they take damage equal to its size. So with cards like, um, of course, Demon Lord's Modi and Fervent Invest, oh, and f Fervent um, Demon Lord Teacher, he they can both pretty much make Nico Balls into one of the most <sighs> annoying cards for your opponent to deal with. So, he is very helpful in the deck. Also, his 6k power also really helps when it comes to link attacking and um, other, if um, I have to go against a really big wall. This card just really is really good. I, I don't know how else to explain it. I, I, I think I'm just derping because I'm a little tired. Um, and, the, and the last size too, per se, is... My buddy dances Modai. I already went over him, so I'm not going to explain. Then, for size threes, we have the last Omni Lord. We have two copies of Defa's Modai. Now, this is the only size three, so yeah, no Omni Die. Um, this deck is a little tempo, but like I said, I'm going more for a rush aspect, so this is a lot better. Three crit, penetrate, and not really focused on trying to stay alive like Omni Die, because it wants to die, because when it is destroyed, it puts. Um, not only do I take lifelink too, but I do get to mill the top three cards of my deck, and if there is a monster, um, monster or monsters among them, I can call them without paying their call cost. I can go into many specifics of how many monsters, like, of course, all the craziness you can do with the monsters you can call for free off of this, but, uh, you can see that in any games that I play with this deck. Next. Let's go into spells. We have one copy of Emergency Ward Neverland. Uh, this is a very nice one of and a very nice addition to the 72 pillar deck. It's a 72 pillar set spell. It's free to set. And when a card is um sent um back like returns to your owner's hand, it doesn't matter who, which player. Um, I gain one life. The one who, who has the set spell, and I can only set one of these. And the ability only cast who activates once per turn. Um, the really nice thing about this card is it's a 72 pillar attribute, so it helps get off shacks and um. A card later on I mean also fervent and um demon like teach mode I and um it's also for another card that's good to see later so it's a really really nice addition I just don't feel the need to run more because I have already enough space issues this is a 52 card deck so I don't want to make it any more or take out anything really so I'm fine with this being a one of it's not all that needed it's just there for the 72 pillar name um, in the drop or on the field for other effects. Two, two copies of Never Say Never put top two cards of my deck into the gauge, and 
if I, if I have no cards in hand when I cast this, I can draw two cards. I can like it once, but never say never for a turn. It's basically like your first volume, but if you end up having no cards because you're discarding of Demon Lord's Modi and also doing other junk or just top decking, and this would be a really great card to top deck or just strategically discarding cards with Demon Lord's Modi or Boy Transformation so you can get to this no card in hand requirement so you can go crazy. Next up we have two co copies of Mind Hardcore. Mind Hardcore is basically if you have two or more 74 monsters, you can gain three gauge, top cards from deck into gauge, three, whatever. <laughs> it's basically just, here's free free three gauge in case you needed it, bro. Um, It's basically like the equivalent of kosher, but instead of a gauge and draw, it's just gauge three, which is much more needed in 72 pillars. Very helpful card, helps set up the combo plays, so it's really nice. Combo plays such as great spell Saturday Night Devil Fever. Pay two gauge and one life. If I have, you can, I can only cast this if I have six or more seventy-two pillars in the drop zone. Mount doesn't matter. Different. It doesn't have to be monster specifically. Just six seventy-two pillars. I can call. I have to call three size one. Well, I think it's up to yeah, up to three size one specifically seventy-two pillars without paying your call cost and everything else gets shuffled back. The nice things I can do with this that I want to explain pretty quickly is that if there is say like a dance mode on my field and there's a boy transformation my drop I attack with a dance mode I cast devil fever I have the setup and all that junk um devil fever and dance mode I will stay on like basically stand like since this is being cast this is like in undesignated zone this is like in limbo because I devil fever is still resolving everything goes back and then I call my three size one, blah, 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 blah. Then dance mode, I goes to drop with double fever. So then squad mode, if I called him off of it, I can use his ability. I can, uh, if I didn't already use it this turn, I can attack with him. Then use the ability, call in his mode. I, I'm just saying dance mode for this example, pay his call cost. And I can call him from the drop um, after he even he already didn't attack that turn, which is very absurd and very, very good. Uh, so let's get on to the rest of the spells. We have two copies of Devil Advantage. Devil Advantage lets you get, um, for one gauge, any two seventy, um, any two copies of, um, a 72 pillar as long as they have the same name from your drop zone. Um, it's specifically same name. Don't try and grab, like, two different Esmodi cards because they have Esmodi. You can only get two of the exact same named cards that are 72 pillars. We have three copies of Magical Goodbye, counter return size two or less to the owner's hand. It's a very powerful card, um, helps me deal with penetrate or just ruining plays for my opponent. It is incredibly versatile, I'm not even going to get into all the reasons why this card is so good. I have bumped it down because there is a new card that really kind of also does Magical Goodbye's job. And I, do, I did need to find more space, and this is the only thing I could think of to bump down. Um... Then we have three copies of It's All Cool, which is basically about battle or circle clone. If I have open center, then I can cast in no fine attack. Then I have four copies of Nice One, which is pay one gauge and draw two in Magic World. Staple, not even going to go over that. Then the last spell in the deck, we have four copies of Solomon's Shield. Solomon's Shield is just... Nullify. If it's not Link Attack, nullify it. Yay! Midnight Shadow Clone. Well, this is the original, so it's not Midnight Shadow Clone. Right. Anyway, um, then we have two items. We have two copies of Sorcery Book Goetta. It is Pay One Gauge and basically a Burning Fist, where if I have an, uh, a monster in the center, I can still attack um, with, this, uh, with this item, unlike other items. And if there are three other 72 pillar attributes on my field then it gains 2000 power and one critical so it becomes a 5-2 weapon that is a burning fist which is very very powerful and very very good and pretty easy to get off that ability so i don't really have a problem with that and if they do and if both of these end up in the drop there's a reason they're 72 pillar attributes so yay i can use them for either just devil, fe devil fever names or let me well attributes to set up or i could use them use them to, um, I can get them back with Devil Advantage. Next, 
since this is DBT1 and we have the new edition of Impact Monsters, of course Asmodai would be getting his own form. We have two copies of Asmodai Diabolical, Spar Diabolical Sparta Teaching. I think I'm going to call this one Sparta Modai or Teach Modai 2. I can't tell which to call it yet. I'm going to probably go with Sparta Modai. Anyway, he's a 625 size 2 with the, with the call cost of pay 2 gauge and put one or more magic world monsters from from the field into its soul so it's basically like yami ghetto's call calls but uh you know impact monster counter speed no well not exactly counter speed but whatever um it, it it's really really interesting and powerful um it's weird to say that but it's a powerful cause because it's interesting that you can grab like basically a whole field even say after a devil fever they somehow live that when i'm usually going for devil fever plays it's usually win but if they somehow survive that then i got this backup plan where it also has the ability when it enters the feet uh let me, let me just be 100 percent sure because i don't i don't call this 100 percent too often but there are plenty of times where i've called it anyway when this card enters the field return all monsters from your opponent's field into his or her hand and deal damage equal to the number of cards returned to your opponent. This card is insane. Any monster of any size is going to be returned by his ability. And I deal damage to them equal, uh, well, up to the amount of cards returned. And then the monsters. Life link. Oh, they're just in, they're just in hell right now. And the best thing about this, this is has this has soul guard. So 5k defense with probably three, two to three more. So like it's you, every time I usually call this, this is like two soul or more. So, double soul guard, it's like another dark, like, I mean, not dark, but um, regular Miseria, or just, it, it, it's in, insane, I, I can't, like, this, this card is so versatile, so powerful, so good, you can get it off death mode for free, because impact monsters can't be called outside of the final phase if you do use an ability, so I can use squad mode I, and, um, just get him from a drop, this card is so insanely good. I really like it. I really like it. Anyway, that is the deck profile. I hope you guys like this video. Subscribe to Team Burning Feeding for more Buddy Fight content. I hope to see you guys later for more Buddy Fight. Um, to check out more Buddy Fight videos by us. And I'll see you guys later. Jump from Team Burning Infinity. Going out.